it's Alex from Everything for iCloud. I'm here with my iPhone 4S running iOS 5, and I just wanted to show you the new feature of updating your software right on the device. Apple released 5.0.1 yesterday, and because the iPhone is a PC-free device, you no longer need to connect to the computer to update your software. All you have to do is go into settings, general software update, and it'll check for updates, and you can download and install it right here. So I'm gonna do a little test, um, see how long this takes to show you guys how to do it, and uh, I'm also gonna check how much battery this drains. Um, let me see if I can get some better focus here. I have 82% up at the top. I'm connected on Wi-Fi right now. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead. Um, 5.0.1. You can see right there. Uh, 55.5 megabytes, and it'll tell you what it's about. Uh, fixes battery life, adds multitasking gestures for the iPad, resolves bugs with documents in the cloud, and improves voice recognition for Australian users using dictation. So let's go ahead and uh, we're connected to Wi-Fi again, 82% battery. Let's go ahead, download, and install. Uh, terms and conditions. Who's actually going to read that? Just click agree. Software update. It says connect your iPhone to a power source while the download is in progress to save battery. Uh, I just clicked OK. So it looks like you can proceed without actually plugging it in. It recommends that you plug it in, but it is downloadable. It says less than one minute remaining. Um, so just trying to keep an eye on the bar, keep an eye on the battery. And by the way, I didn't really have any battery issues. Um, some iOS, some iPhone 4S users were reporting that their battery was uh, draining very fast. I didn't really have any issues. Um, I did find that it didn't last a full, like, as long as I noticed with the iPhone 4, but I believe that it is the same battery, and for this processor to be running on the same battery as the iPhone 4, it's obviously going to take up more battery, and I'm pretty sure the battery is the same. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you would expect that, and I wasn't noticing too much of a difference, but... Um, you know, and I guess I was using a little bit more, like, testing out all the features. So I guess it's around the same battery for me, but there were a lot of users complaining that the battery would drain out in two hours, which is ridiculous. You, you need to be able to get your battery through a full day. So I'm um, just processing update right here. Oh, sorry, preparing update. I'm trying to read the screen on my camera at the same time. We're still at 82%, so it doesn't seem so far to be a huge battery waster. I'm also curious to see how this, um, like, keeps your apps, if anything happens with, like, your apps being disorganized or anything like that. Hope not. Hope all my folders are the same way. And also, I forgot to show you that uh, so settings was the only app open. I actually went into, um, um into multitasking bar, I guess. I don't even know what that's called. Uh, you know what I'm talking about, where you double click home and the bar comes up. I guess it's the multitasking bar. I cleared all my apps off there except settings, so settings is the only thing running on my phone right now. Um, just to give it a fair test. And let me know, um, I'm not sure if you are able to do this over 3G. I don't know if you'd want to, it would probably waste a lot of your data plan. Um, but I'm on Wi-Fi right now, but I'm curious to know if this works over 3G. So if you did it, let me know in the comments. Preparing update still, we're getting towards the end here. I'm guessing it's gonna have to restart. And also, while this is going on, if you want to learn more, you can see what it's what it's for and what devices it's compatible with. And also, the security content, you can go to the link and view that. But um, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty simple interface. And uh, the bar is completely at the end, but nothing's happening so far. Went down to 81%. It's still updating. Okay, iOS uh, 5.0.1 will be installed in 4 seconds. Your iPhone will start when the installation is finished. Later, install. Um, verifying update. I had to read that really fast because I didn't have enough time. Verifying update. So this is probably faster to do on your desktop if you have access to that. But for some of you that are on the go and maybe don't have your computer with you, um, you definitely want to do this like if you're in a rush and you need to use your phone a lot. Wait till you get somewhere or you're on Wi-Fi with a fast connection because it does take a pretty long time. And the Apple logo came up. However, my phone is not turning on. I'm going to try to power it on. Oh, there we go. We have that the bar there, the Apple logo and the bar. This is probably going to take a while, so I'm going to turn the camera off and come back when it's done. All right, so we're creeping toward the end here. Um, it's been about three or four minutes since I shut the camera off, and we're just about done here. Hope this doesn't stay on the very last uh, part of the bar for a few minutes. Let's hope not. But it looks like it's going to. Oh, there we go. And, um, let's see. Okay, my screen went black. Let's try uh, powering it on again. So I'm not sure if you have to do that or if it's on like a 10 second timer to boot itself back on. But so far when it shut off, I've had to hold the power button back down and get it going again. Which doesn't seem like it's been a problem so far. And that bar is going to come back up again and make me aggravated. I hope this doesn't have to go through this all again. Oh, no, it's going quickly that time. So it's a weird series of bars moving and restarting for updating your software. And there we go. Looks like we're good to go. My custom wallpaper is set. Searching. Let's wait till that gets a signal. And I'll just uh, type my password in real fast. Still searching for a connection. But um, it's found my Wi-Fi. There we go, YouTube message. Should we give a shout-out? Was that somebody? Should we give a shout-out to? Yeah, let, let's do it. Let's do a shout-out. That email was just VFX edits, so go check them out. But anyway, still searching for a connection, no service, and then jump back to AT&T full bars and Wi-Fi. Looks like we're down to 79% of battery. We started at 82, so not too much of a drainage, but um, definitely something to take note of if you're doing this on the go and you don't want to lose too much battery, um, and you're trying to conserve battery. Maybe this isn't the smartest idea, and I'm not even sure if you can do this over 3G. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they put limitations on that, uh, just because it might take a really long time. Again, I was on Wi-Fi, and that whole process took about 10 minutes. So probably a little faster to do on the computer, but much easier to do on your phone. So that's it, guys. Don't forget to check out some of my other videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, and I'll catch you in some in uh, later in another video. And also check out VFX edits. Good timing VFX edits for emailing me or for commenting on my new video. Uh, you just earned yourself a shout out. So I'll see you later. Don't forget to, oh, I already said that, but yep, see you later, and thanks for watching.